we have a devastating disease from the 1700s back, yeah, actually running rampant in the United States, and nobody's talking about this. You gotta check this out. This is super important. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Let's get everybody healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please tell other people. We have so many sick people now. We got to get them healthy. Well, I want to take the time to talk about a, an old disease which has come back in the United States and is running rampant and causing huge problems. Scurvy. Scurvy, you know, Christopher Columbus in the 1700s and all these different people coming across, you know, the Atlantic Ocean. You know, they had fruits and vegetables to begin with and then they run out about halfway and then they come down with scurvy, which is a terrible, devastating disease, which is back now and creating people dying. There's no doubt about that. And with some simple things that we can do, we can completely prevent and reverse this disease and make changes in our lives, which are good and actually tasty too. We can do this. First of all, it's terrible we have this disease in the United States. And second of all, most of the time it is misdiagnosed. And we have a huge amount of this going on in the USA now. It was a diagnosis of a lady who was well-fed, and she was a female, had uh, leg swelling and swelling all over her body, and small little red spots all over, and bleeding of her gums, uh, pinpoint little hemorrhages, also, you know, kinky, uh, curly hair that was, you know, not her normal, and it was falling out also, and she was diagnosed with scurvy, finally. And before that, they thought it was something else, and she was dying. Finally, they figured out she had scurvy. What is scurvy? Lack of vitamins and minerals, especially vitamin C. Fresh fruits and vegetables are super important. One study showed that this is being diagnosed on a regular basis in the emergency room. So, wow, this is not good whatsoever. In any way, shape, or form, not good. And lots of people just don't eat fruits and vegetables. They refuse. They're eating garbage food. And this is what happened. You know, we need fruits and vegetables, raw fruits and vegetables in our life. I knew a lady who all she ate was rice. And she wasn't able to produce hemoglobin to be able to breathe correctly. And uh, she had lots of pain in her joints, and this was not good. It ended badly. She ended up passing away. Not good. This could be totally prevented and reversed. What are the effects of scurvy? First of all, mood changes, muscle and joint pain, bleeding, uh, old wounds opening up. You have a little scratch, and it's already healed. It opens up again. Also, Poor wound healing. If you have a wound, it just doesn't, you know, uh, scab over. Also, for no fatigue, no, you know, lots of fatigue, no energy, problems with bleeding in general, just no clotting. You just don't clot well. Also, sometimes pulmonary em embolism, you know, where you throw a clot to your lungs, high blood pressure, even heart attacks. That's just a short list. Also, swelling of the legs, scaly, dry skin, bruising easily, losing your teeth, and bleeding of the gums. Not good. Also, brittle brittle hair, uh, anemia, unable to breathe well, and more. Low hemoglobin, no appetite, can't gain weight. So many things that just, you know, terrible. And doctors are misdiagnosing this all the time. People also feel very irritable and uh, have even red or purple gums, which are kind of spongy, not good, and all red and purple spots on their, on their skin. Wow, this is terrible. As I said, you could have one of these or you could have a multiple of these symptoms. It could be anything going on at any time. And this is becoming super common and most doctors misdiagnose this. 
We eat a lot, but we live in a nutrient desert. No nu nutrients at all. But we have a lot of fat and we're getting fat like crazy. All the fast food, the convenience food, the sweets, the sodas, the processed food, the sugary foods, the chips, you know, the fried foods. There's no nutrients in fried foods, that's for sure. Anything comes from a container. Garbage foods, which leads to poor health and eventually a person passing away. Not good. So what can we do? Eat lots of raw you know, fruits and veggies, uh, some cooked grains, uh, lots of cooked beans. They have lots of nutrients in them. Uh, some cooked tubers like, uh, you know, potatoes and yams and things like that. Kind of minimize those a little bit. And lots and lots and lots of raw greens, fruits, veggies, grains, lots of those. We can't overcome this and prevent this and go back to eating a basic nutrient-balanced diet. We also have a lot of people who are 300 and more pounds. And, you know, you do you look, look around. Do you see people who are 70 or 80 who are 300 plus? No. They start, you know, passing away about 58 to 62 in there somewhere. You don't really see a lot of heavy people making it to 70 and 80. It doesn't happen. And we need to get people on the right track of eating correctly and allow them to live long lives like everybody else. So there you have it. Scurvy is back. You got to eat your fruits and vegetables. And, you know, talk about the, the list of uh, different side effects of this terrible disease. And we can turn this around. If you know somebody is not eating right, you really need to check them out for something like this going on. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I help people where doctors just kind of throw you to the trash. I turn things around and let's get you healthy. You can get healthy, and I guarantee it. 831-869-9119. Remember God, remember I love you, and I'm a devotee of near-death experiences. And a lot of people say, you know, that they're not real. They're, it's a lack of oxygen, a dying brain, that type of thing. But what about shared near-death experiences where people are around that person in the in the room as they are passing and all of a sudden they go through you know the process of seeing themselves uh seeing that person from up above and going through the tunnel of light going through the, in the life review does that make sense well that happens on a regular basis and this is really important there's no way that the dying brain of a physician or, you know, friends and family uh, is happening because they're not the one dying. So there is an afterlife. I know it. It's not a belief with me. It's a knowing. I love you.